We're looking here at the dashboard for BackWP Up, and the first step they suggest is to check the installation. That takes us to the settings page for BackWP Up, and it does a number of tests. And it would appear that we've passed all the tests. Now let's take a look at the rest of the settings. One of the first options is to put BackWP Up in the admin bar and it's checked and you can see we have it right here. And then we can optionally display folder sizes in the files tab when editing a job. We also have the option to protect the backup folders with a .htaccess file and an index.php file. These are all excellent settings and I'm going to leave them the way they are. Many of these settings are for dealing with failure. We can choose to only retry three times. And we can also say not to let the backup script run longer than 30 seconds. That's so that it doesn't run away with your server. There are several options for creating zips. Leaving it at auto means it will use the best option available. And then there's a key to start jobs externally using a URL. And you can choose to have your log file be written in English. And then there's a way to reduce server load. I'm going to leave this disabled but I'm going to click Save Changes because I changed the translation option. Now let's look at the logs. This is where the logs are stored. And you can say how many to store. Optionally, you can compress your log files with gzip. Gzip is really excellent at compressing files. So if you have a problem with disk space, this is recommended. Sometimes your site might be protected with an HD access username and password. If that's the case, you can put in your username and password here, and BackWP Up will be able to work more effectively. There's a tab for API keys if you have the Pro version. And then we're back to the Information tab on which we started. In the next video, we'll get started actually making some backups.